being Northern, I drink it in a big cup. Now, back in February 2019, the iconic street artist Stoney, also known as Antonio Russo, was diagnosed with a severe brain tumour. But that didn't stop him from going on to create some of his most striking works. Most of his work was inspired by his other great love music, be it classic rock or modern day rap. His most recent collection was created while listening to none other than David Bowie. Stoney was uh, set to discuss all this with me here in the studio, but sadly passed away in June. Well, here to discuss his legacy, joined by Stoney's closest buddies, uh, James Ryan. Hi, it's good to see you. Just um, talk us Please through um, June and what happened. Yeah, so it was uh, a case where he was actually diagnosed with a glioblastoma um, in 2019. Um, so obviously he had a, a real struggle throughout that time and then unfortunately lost his, lost his battle um, you know, to the condition. It was actually something his father also passed away from, but it wasn't hereditary. Um, so it was just you know, a very, very unfortunate diagnosis that unfortunately took his life in June. Uh, how did you become friends? We became really close um, actually just before the lockdown period. Uh, my dad was actually going through uh, something fairly similar. Um, he had a tumour that was removed and we just managed to strike it off through uh, our relationship with um, you know, a, a love, should I say, of art and music. Um, and we struck up a close you know, bond. He trusted me and I trusted him and uh, yeah, we became very good friends. Yeah, condolences. I'm so sorry that, you. that you've lost your friend. Uh, talk to us about um, autism and dyslexia and how that came through in his work and why it was important to him. Yeah, he actually really believed in using um, autism and, and dyslexia as a superpower. Uh, so he had a lot of people contact him and reaching out, especially during you know, the, the lockdown where people were suffering. And he just wanted to get all of his emotions, raw emotions, sometimes frustrations, a lot of positivity out there as well, because he did live a, an interesting life, a very successful guy as well. Um, and he just wanted to you know, put that message out there to say, you know, you can be a success even if the, uh, you know, the cards are against you, let's say. When you say an interesting life, tell us a bit more. Yeah, I mean, he was actually yeah, a Formula 3 driver when he was uh, younger. Really? Yeah, Formula 3 driver. Uh, he had a really bad crash. He, he lived everything sort of like a you know, really fast pace, a million miles an hour anyway. So he had a, a bad crash. Uh, so that stopped his Formula 3 career. Uh, and then he moved into, um, you know, music. He made uh, beats and uh, records with Kanye West. Um, artists such as Pink and Usher, um, and then obviously yeah, became the very well-known artist that he is today as Stoney. Mm. Looking at that great picture of him, actually, as, as yeah. we're chatting to you. Tell us about his art. Yeah, I mean, his art is very raw. Um, like I say, it will it will captivate you. There's, there's lots of... You know, what we've got to remember is he was going through a real battle um, for his life. He was given, essentially, a death sentence, so he was given a... You know uh, a di the diagnosis, and then he would be so unwell that he would have to sit down in a chair and couldn't, you know, paint any longer. So he would he would actually document his daily diary, um, and again, people just could either connect to that, um, and they got to see what what he was going through on a daily basis. But it wasn't just negatives; he also had lots of positives. So he talked about, uh, you know, the divorce rate and the separation rate from his socks, and he would talk about things like that that <laughs> people would connect with, you know. So it wasn't like he had one type of collector, you know, all, all kinds of people go through various battles and he wanted to, you know, you know, say say he everything he wanted on, on canvas. Yeah, how, how is he going to inspire... I mean, look at it, him work there. Um, as yeah. you said, you know, uh, taking no prisoners very quick as he goes about his art. <laughs> what does he want... What would he have wanted people to take from his art? Um... Really and truly, he, because of his uh, illness, he wanted to raise awareness for the brain tumour charity, first and foremost. So he would um, say things like, I wish cancer got cancer and died. You know, th things such as that, because obviously a lot of us have either lost somebody that, uh, you know, has succumbed to cancer, or he would, he would also have positive messages, like I've said. Um, so it would really be a case of how he was feeling, and that's why people could relate to him, essentially. What happened with your dad? So my dad had a like, rugby-sized ball tumour um, in his lung and he had um, you know, a big operation. And the fact that I knew what he was going through as well meant that we, we, we got fairly close. But when I first saw him at his house, he said, uh, when you come to the house, you've got to be um, negative, negative to get here, as in to say negative for a COVID result. Um, so he was always a very positive guy, very positive thinker. And I know over two or three years is quite a short time but I knew him um, in, in every sense of the word. 
I knew what he wanted to do, how to continue his legacy, and I'm honoured that he's sort of entrusted me to move it forward. Fantastic. So what's next? Uh, we've got an event, big event taking place at the Zedwell Hotel, uh, which has only been open for 60 days. We've got about two, 300 people coming there. Uh, we're going to do an auction there, big party, big event. And then we have sort of lots of other intimate uh, functions to put together. And then we're going to America next year to really try and, you know, promote the awareness. It's something like Tom Parker from The Wanted Passed Away. It's the exact same um, you know, condition. But we want to spread his legacy and a message in a positive way that he would want it. Sure you will. James, it's great to see you. Thank Thanks you so for taking much. the Thanks time for to come on. in. Really appreciate it. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Uh, let's talk about the Sussex.